pray God let me die alone Before I'm worshipped by these fake niggas Real feminists, but on my mama swear I hate niggas Gang bang gon' make you niggas real, it just sign you niggas I know niggas who don't bang but it's fine you niggas Johnny Cochran, when it's time I'm... Hey man, say man, it's your boy, J Money man, and we back again with another video with J Money TV man. You feel me? Before we get started, man, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, man. Turn on that post notification so you know when the next time I'm dropping a pressure lit, extravagant, extraordinary turn video, man. So. Hey, man, by the title of the thumbnail, man, we will be talking about things you have to come in realization with, the things that you have to realize in life. Um, I say it's about a couple of things, man. We're going to talk about it, man. Before we get started, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, man. Do all that good stuff, man. And all that. Hit the post notification bell, man. You know what it is. But, yeah, man, I'm going to get right into it. So, Basically, man, for the first one, man, we'll be talking about, you no, know, for the first one, we're just going to get into it. All right. Um, basically, bro, I've noticed that mostly now in this day and age, most people are, are, um, most people are stagnant. And most people are, are ignorant to certain things that are going on in the that's going on in the, in the world. So, y'all hey, come look at this. <laughs> yeah, man. So, the video today will be about certain realizations that I've came to, man. And a couple realizations that I've came to in our culture, man, is people. I'm going to say a couple of things, man, because I'm very passionate about this. And I've noticed this just off dealing with multiple, multiple different, different nationalities and, and a various amount of people. And um, mostly people that's like in the street gangs or in the street life and certain, certain things of that nature. And I've just learned this just by watching my surroundings, just watching what I've grown up in. So, yeah, man, this is all I'm talking off experience, man. So, yeah, everything that I'm saying is definitely from experience. Everything that I'm saying, it, it has been a scenario that's happened in my life and that I, I've just came into realization that most people don't give a fuck. That's one thing. Most people... Well, actually, no one gives a fuck, bro. No one cares about you for real, bro. Like, and like, it's sad to say it like that, bro. I don't mean to say it like in like a like a with a, like a negative connotation to it, but it's kind of like I people people nowadays they very selfish, bro. It's just all about them what they want. Um, they never think about nobody else around them. They never think how somebody else would think around them. They never empathetic, bro. That's one thing that, um, if I could say that my mother definitely taught me was to be empathetic, bro. Just understanding people, <clears throat> excuse me, understanding people. Like that's the real reason why I gained so many different friendships from different nationalities and different walks of life, bro. Just all me being me. And just saw me knowing and grasping these concepts and seeing this over a period of time, bro. People really don't care about you, brother. Everybody's selfish. Everybody out for self, bro. Like, you got to understand that. You have to understand that, bro. You have to understand that nobody really cares, bro. Nobody really care. Nobody really care for real. Like, you, like when you got to pay bills, nobody there. When you got to... Um, um, buy some new, some new equipment for your, for your, for your car. So, um, I said equipment, but new materials for your car. So your car can start back running again. People not there. When you got to get an oil change, people not there. When you got to go to the hospital because you hurt your finger, people not there. When you got to, bro, like you're a human being, bro. Like everybody's a human being, bro. And one thing that I've noticed in human nature, bro, is everyone Everyone 
is is here in in the in the first thing that on people the first things that's on people mind is self preservation bro what can I get out of this situation what me possibly what do I have to do here like what is what is here calling for me type thing like we are very entitled bro for no reason and I'm saying me too and I'm not entitled I'm actually a selfless person that's why I kind of gained so that's why I gained so many of the wrong relationships just on me being a real genuine person and people not genuine bro nobody genuine in life I'm gonna keep it 100 with you nobody is genuine in life everybody talk bad about you everybody talk bad about me everybody man but I love the the ones that I love and I love the people that love me and the people that don't love me fuck you what the fuck why the fuck am I worried about somebody that don't know me or don't care about me or don't understand me or don't vibe with me or don't think I'm cool or don't want to kick it with me I don't care bro like I'm I'm too busy worried about myself man and what I got going on man that's really why I've been taking a break from YouTube man um I, I I'm going down the rabbit hole but I'm gonna get back to why I came to the realization of our culture but the reason like that I've been taking a break from YouTube bro lately is just me dealing with real life bro me having to deal with real life bro and I love that man I love um I love hardships man hardships is what builds adversity builds character bro adversity going through something and making it out of something is the biggest confidence booster you'll ever do in your life going into something that you didn't want to happen but it happened so now you got to stick your chest up you got to stick your chest up and your chin up high man your chest out and your chin high and you got to go through any situation that you got to go through in order to get to the finish line and get to where you want to go and i've I grasped that concept lately bro and i just i, I just been so focused on myself man and just certain careers that i want to venture out into i haven't been totally honed in and focused on youtube man i promise and i apologize from the bottom of my heart man to my community to the j money mafia to the j money family bro i apologize bro i apologize i was doing i mean grown man shit i apologize but enough of that Back to the, the video, man, realization. Like, another thing that I realized, bro, is that people do not respect what the fuck they don't work for. Hey, look, bro. Hey, look, bro. I'm a... I said people don't respect what they don't work for. That's just down. Can't make it up. Can't make it up, man. People will, people will run you dry if you let them. People will, people will see you or watch you give your all. Do everything that you can. Bring every possible idea to the table. Bring every type of, bring great energy every single day. Picking up any type of person from different locations every single day. Vibing with people different i'm i'm going around your homeboys i don't know them for real but i'm just off the strength of you though so now you make us buddy buddy and the whole gang of group bro i didn't ask for this shit bro i didn't ask to be around a thousand and fifty five niggas bro i didn't ask for this shit bro I'm not that type of dude, bro. I'm not that type of guy, bro. I'm, bro, one thing about me, bro, I've been through so many hardships in life, man, and all I need is me and God, bro. That's one thing, bro, and I understand that. I understand that. I, I've tried so many times to to reach my hand out every single day. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a kind soul, bro. I'm a kind soul. I don't really, I don't never like go out my way to try to be something that I'm not. I never been that type of guy. I was a follower at one point in time because all great leaders had to be great followers at one point in time. That what y'all don't understand. 
That what people don't understand. Every great leader was once a great follower. The hell is y'all talking about, bro? Y'all people is backwards, bro. Everything that the streets like idolize is backwards, bro. Like, wait, whoa. Everything that the streets idolize is backwards, gang. If we gonna be completely honest, hold on. Cause I'm about to pop my big one. Ooh. Nah, I gotta pop my big one, bro. Cause real deal. Come on, man. This these are the things in our culture. Hey look, man, I'm pop man, I'm about to break the internet, man. That's what I do, man. I just bring factual, real life entertainment to you guys, man. I'm sorry. And I apologize for not man, fuck all that. But get back to the shit. But bro. First, one thing that us as a community that we idolize for some odd fucking reason, some dumbass, stupid ass, I don't fucking know, I fucking moron, idiot, fucking fool would, would love and, and worship the devil, bro. That's first. That's the first thing. That's the first thing. Everybody a demon. Everybody on demon time fuck is y'all talking about bro what the fuck is a demon okay uh a helper of who i damn bro the devil so and in music everything is sexualized everything is is good or bad you doing bad shit criminal shit that can get your ass locked up and thrown and and, and dead and shot a hundred and fifty five times in your motherfucking jaw Compared to other music that's like pop and, and different genres that portray a different image, bro, and, and lead a, a and got and has a different fan base. That's cool. That's cool. That they're not they're not portraying to be something they're not. They're being what they are, pop stars. Like people got to understand. Everybody got a group in life. You're not gonna be. If you know how to play football, you're not about to be over there chilling and, and, and hooting and hollering with people that that paint. Like, you're not going to do that. You're not going to do that. If you're playing football, you're going to hang with people that's in the same like-minded state as you. And people don't understand when, when you grow and you elevate and you really take on a different mindset and you really change your mindset to what you really want to do and you really lock in and i'm not just saying that just to say it like i'm talking about really putting that grind dedication persistency consistency on on one thing for a certain for for expect exponential amount of time and and still don't and still don't receive the benefits of of what you what you putting your work in that's how i felt with youtube that's really how I felt with YouTube, but it's cool because I love the journey, man. I love everything, the ups and downs of life. Like I told y'all in, in, in the beginning of the video, I love the ups and downs of life because that's when you learn. That's when you build character, bro. Adversity builds character. And I'm, I don't, I'm not afraid to go against the world, bro. I'm not afraid to go against the world, bro. I'm me, bro. I'm just me. That's it, bro. I'm me, but I'm God's child. And God love me. I'm who God love. So I don't give a fuck about no, no what other people think. Like that's one thing about our gener our, our, our culture, bro. We 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 care about what people think all day. Like we dead ass judge each other all day. Like we talk about we talk bad about each other all day. We 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 lie to each other. Man, look, bro. First, the devil. All right. Second, drugs. We 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 enforce drugs. We we peer pressure our people into doing drugs. Why the fuck would we peer pressure our people that's a sober person? They love conducting themselves sober. They get so much shit done. They're very productive. They have a good job. They have a strong support system. They're doing what the hell they got to do in life. They got good credit. They're working on themselves. They got a car. They got a house. Bro, why the fuck would we instill and try to push in 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 peer pressure drugs into into our people onto our family members 
on to our family members, bro. We we pushing drugs. We pushing liquor every every time we having a. I mean, that's drugs too. Yes, that's drugs, bro. If you get addicted to something, it's a drug, bro. It's a vice. Facts. I don't care what it is. Pussy, money, um, um, any type of drug, any like, bro. It's all a form of weed, porn, um, any type thing, bro. Anything, bro. Anything that you can get addicted to, bro, that you can't go a day without. That's something that you, that that's a vice, bro. That's a vice. So, bro, we have so many things. We push drugs onto each other. Okay. After we push drugs onto each other, we steal from each other. Okay. We hate on each other. We talk bad. Man, a motherfucker, a motherfucker, a dead ass. Look you in your face. A motherfucker will tell you, you gotta, you gotta look too. You gotta peep the signs when people be like laughing and joking and say certain shits, little slick shit, laughing and joking with you. They really mean that shit. That shit just a slick undertone. It's an undertone to everything. And and when people and when people like compliment you too much, yeah. When when people compliment you too much, it's kind of like a thing. Like I see this, what you doing. Like, I see this who you are, but I just, I don't know. I, I just, I don't know. I just want to see if I can find a flaw in you. Like, I'm not a human. A motherfucker, like, our people, our people, we dead ass talk about each other all day, but whole time, the bitch, you got flaws too. B bitch, you unemotional. I mean, you, you, you unstable. You you emotionally unstable, bitch. You have temper tantrums, bitch. You you make poor life decisions, bitch. You you hang around the wrong group of people. No, you go to those bad places and you hang out all day and all year. Which you go to the club, spend money on bottles, do pointless shit that don't mean nothing. You do that shit, bro. That's not what everybody do, bro. Everybody's not you. Everybody's not you, bro. And like I said, going back to the beginning and the first thing I said, everyone out here in life is here for the the first thing on their mind is self preservation, bro. What can they do to get in a better position for themselves? What can they do to eat today? What can they do? Anything that has to do with you selfishly, bro. And it is what it is. We human, bro. So I just hate when I just don't I don't hate it because I don't hate nothing, man, but I, I just say that. That's in my vocabulary. I'll change that, but I just dislike, man, when people people try to point out, people try to look and search deep, bro. They search deep, my nigga. They go deep in the bag. Like, they really try to dig, like, nigga, I'm talking about shoulder with real life in the cooking, bro, whipping, like, niggas be trying to go in the bag deep to try to find flaws in you, knowing that you a human, bro. Of course I got flaws, nigga. The fuck? I'm not human. I never said I was perfect. That's the thing. Motherfuckers be hating on you because they... Motherfucker hate you because they ain't you. That's one thing about life, bro. Motherfucker hate you because they ain't you, bro. That's real shit. They don't got the, the, the demeanor that you got. They don't got the swag that you got. They don't got the... They don't got the, the look that you got. They don't got the sound that you got. They don't got the... the the knowledge that you got, they don't got the experience that you got, they don't got the understanding that you got, they don't got the 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 way that you can gravitate people towards you. They don't, bro. They just don't got that shit, bro. And they see it in you, bro. They see it in you every day. Every time you hang around these certain people, they see it in you every day, bro. They see it in you, and they tell you, and they enforce it on you. They, oh yeah, bro. You da 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 da. -da. Bro, that's kind of like a slick undertone too, bro. Like you hating, bro. You really trying to peep out everything I'm doing. Like you really saying every move I'm doing, bro. You on my dick, bro. You're hating, bro. You're hating, bro. You really want to be me. So you like, peep, bro. Now, I'm not saying me personally, but I'm just saying, bro. In life, people see things in other people that they gravitate to. And bro. I'm I've been a hater before. I'm not gonna lie, bro. I'm not gonna lie. I wasn't a hater for a long time. I was a hater for about fucking three minutes. Fuck is you talking about? After that I got the fuck on with my life and I got back to what the fuck I had going on in real life. That's the thing. 
And after I did that that one time, see, I'm a I'm a loving, caring person, bro. I'm a giving person, bro. I'm a I'm a I'm a, a smart individual. I'm an intelligent person, bro. Like I don't just like on no gangster shit, tough shit. I never been on that type shit, bro. Never. And I was really with that shit back then, but I was never on that type. Like, I never, like, oh, all day, bro. I was one of them guys, nigga. You gonna laugh with me, nigga. We gonna hoop, nigga. We gonna smoke, nigga. We gonna vibe. We gonna listen to music. We gonna chill with the bitches, nigga. We gonna, like, bro, we gonna do so much shit, bro, that I'm not, like, bro, I'm a multi, like, uh, I'm a I'm a hyphenated being, bro. I'm a hyphenated person, bro. Like, I, I'm a multifaceted person, bro. Like, I know a little bit about a lot, bro. Like, that's what people don't understand, bro. Like, when it's certain people in life, bro, that you that you really just, by t them talking, bro, you just hear it like, damn, bro, this nigga, I ain't gonna lie. Like, this nigga, he know what the fuck he on. Like, he really on something. And that's what people see that shit. And they, and over time, if you around them still at that point in time, they may just end up hating on you all together, bro. Because that's what people do in our culture, too, bro. We love then we hate just to go back to love and the motherfucker that shit crazy bro a nigga it's either or a motherfucker will love you to hate you to love you again or a motherfucker will hate you to love you then hate you again on oh, gang can't make that shit up bro can't make this shit up bro this shit only happen one hey man this is j money tv get your popcorn get everything nigga y'all you hear me I'm spitting that spill, that real deal spill, man. That splash, bro. Real shit, bro. Cause I'm a I'm a real deal person, bro. I'm a real man, bro. I'm a real I would consider myself a real man, bro. I love the people that I love. I I I provide for the people that I love. <clears throat> I cherish and I and I value the people that I love. I show interest and and I I take myself out of my comfort zone for my family. I um um, I'm a strong, independent thinker. I'm a leader. Um, I I can get with that shit if need be. Um, I I'm making a living for myself. I'm doing what I'm doing. Um, getting legal paper. No, I mean other shit like that. Like I understand life. I'm emotionally intelligent. Um, smart. Um, courageous. I'm brave. Um, kind-hearted. Um, structured. I'm disciplined. It's a lot of things with me, bro. Like, it's a lot of things with me, bro. And I've gained this over time, bro. I've gained this over time. And like I said before, bro, this is all by the grace of God, bro. Like I told you, I only need nothing but me and God. What did I say? I need nothing but me and God, bro. Me and the big man upstairs, everybody else in life other than family and God is really like, minuscule bro it's small it's mine and shit bro you feel me because i understand that everybody like i said before is out for self-preservation bro everybody out for self-preservation i don't give a fuck who he is barack obama motherfucking little sally from down the block goddamn joe blow from up the street motherfucking goofball jamal from down the down the block like bro i'm telling you bro like everybody out for self and everybody has their own way of thinking and certain people that's older too that's one thing that i say too man it's harder to fix broken men than it is to raise strong children i'm gonna say it one more time just for the people in the back i'm gonna just say it one more time i said it's harder to repair broken men than it is to raise strong children, nigga. So why the fuck would I be around a group of niggas or just be around anybody, period? Because I didn't cut out multiple groups of friends, bro. Just off the understanding of me knowing 
who I am as a person, bro, and me not changing for nobody, bro. I'm going to be me, bro, regardless of what the fuck is going on in life, bro. I'm going to be job, bro, J-O-C-J money, man. I'm going to be me, bro. A motherfucker hate when you just really be you and you don't give a fuck what nobody think and you don't care how nobody feel and you're going to do your shit the way you do your shit, how you want to do your shit. You got the splash on that little shit and you doing your shit, bro. Like, bro, a motherfucker will hate you, bro. Motherfucker will hate you for not... Just you being you. Like I said, motherfucker hate you because they ain't you, boy. I ain't lying, man. Bro. I'm not going to snatch, bro. All right, okay. Let me get back to it. Let me get back to it. I still got a list, bro. Chill. Let me cook. Let me cook. Where's Steph at? All right. Our culture... We idolize lying. We lie to each other all day, bro. We lie to each other all day. We lie like we got them buy, buy goddamn rollos at the stove. Fuck is you talking about? We lie like we buy backwoods. We humans, bro. We fucking humans. Of course you lie. Of course you lie. You'll be lying if you say you don't lie. Fuck out of here. Nigga, be... <laughs> nigga, you lying if you say you don't lie, nigga. You lying if you say you ain't lying, nigga. Fuck you talking about. Real shit, bro. That just is what it is, bro. We, it's, we're human, bro. We're human. We're fucking human. And the thing is, I understand and I had to realize and I had to use my context clues and really think deep down, like, why do people lie? I mean, it may be at a certain fear or something. You got a fear of something. A fear of somebody figuring out something. A fear of of you um, being taken advantage of. A fear of of you being misused, a fear of you being harmed, a fear of you being like real talk, bro. Real talk. That's where the, that's where it stems from, bro. And and one thing about our people too, we get real defensive, bro. We get defensive when you when you telling facts, people get defensive. Why the fuck is you defensive? He they telling straight facts. Whoever the fuck and whatever the fuck topic y'all on. If they said facts and you're mad, nine times out of ten, if somebody mad about something, it's facts. Nine times out of ten, it didn't happen to me too. I mean, I didn't been. I mean, the end of a end of a joke or two. I mean, I ain't tripping about shit, bro. I'm a bro. I'm a man, bro. I'm a man. I'm a handsome young chocolate nigga, bro. I'm a man, bro. I don't care about what other people. No, sir. That's the thing about me, bro. And that's another thing in this generation too, in this world, in this in this this culture that we live in, bro. Motherfuckers really be BL for real, bro. And I don't mean that I I I don't I, I bop, love who bop, love bop, me, bro. Bop, so pow. Oh! If I got a cousin that's that's on the uh, that's um uh LGBTQ, they would be considered LGBTQ. But that's cool. That's cool with me, bro. I I respect people, bro. That's one thing about me, bro. That's why motherfuckers hate you too, bro. Because you got certain respect. Like, you respect the world, bro. I don't respect the street culture, bro. I respect the world, bro. I respect the, the, the governed law of the universe, bro. I don't respect no, no fucking block or, or staying in one spot all day or being around the same niggas. A group of 54 niggas. We got 79 guns out this bitch. We all 55 perks. We drunk 75 pints of lean. Fuck do I look like, bro? I can do all that shit. Spend all that money on my family, bro. On something that's going to matter. Why the fuck? And that's another thing, bro. That's another thing, bro. Our culture love materialistic shit, bro. Shit that means nothing. Clothes that mean nothing, my nigga. I promise you, bro. I can't make this shit up. I wear this same shit every day to work, nigga. Fuck you talking about, nigga. And I'm still gonna get that bag. Fuck is you talking about? I'm gonna stack it. I'm gonna run that money on up, nigga. Fuck you talking about, nigga. I'm Jay Money. Like, what the fuck is you talking about? But yeah, yeah, bro. That's really what it is, though. 
and a motherfucker hate that you really be on your grind. A motherfucker hate that you can rap. A motherfucker hate that nigga. I get I, nigga. Motherfucker hate that you can play basketball. Motherfucker hate that you can play football. Motherfucker hate that you can play soccer. Motherfucker hate that you can play ping pong. Motherfucker hate that you can play pool. Motherfucker hate that you understand cars. Motherfucker hate that you that you are able to to grasp the different outlook on life. Motherfuckers hate that you able to to shine and grow and thrive in life and understand quick and catch on to things quick and the first thing that first time that you hear something you know it for the rest of your life and bro motherfuckers hate that shit bro they hate and they really see it like that's why they hate it because they see it every single day when you come around when you around them they they are reminded of what they're not bada bop boom pow Hey, I need to be. I got the fan right here. It's, it's hot, nigga. It's fucking hot, bro. A motherfucker would dead ass hate you, bro, because you you just being you, and but you coming around these people, bro. So when you're around people, people understand and they start to peep your vibe, bro, and see what you all about for real, bro, and understand your 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 way uh, of thinking, bro. Yo, yo, your mindset, your ideologies, what you, what you, the way you move, like how you understand things, bro. How you, how you portray yourself to the world, bro. Motherfuckers see that every day that you come around them and they understand that and they peep certain shit that you do and they're like, damn, bro, this nigga really, damn, I ain't no brother, damn, bro, doing, damn, bro. Da at a certain point, bro, a motherfucker did that start hating you, bro. Like, bro, it's in a nature, bro. I, and that's why I say they, because they not my kind. People that hate is not my kind, bro. If you hate on me for anything, you not my kind, bro. If you hate on me because I got Pringles and you wanted Pringles at the stove, but you ain't grab them, and I grabbed the, the, the good ones that you like, and I ain't give you none, if you hate on me, yeah, nigga, you a hater. In my eyes, nigga. Because, bro, I don't, bro, it's, a most, bro, it's abundance in this world, bro. Anybody can have anything they want in this world. Why the fuck are you worried about what the fuck I'm doing with me, bro? Why the fuck do I have to live my life for you? Why the fuck do I have to give my life up for you in the gang, in the bros? Fuck out of here, nigga. I go chill in the back with my niece. I kick it with my family. I thug it with my auntie. I thug it with my niece. I thug it with my brother. I thug it with my sister. And I run this ch this chicken bag up. The fuck is you talking about, bro? And I love everybody, bro. That's the thing about me, bro. I love everybody. But when I peep certain shit, bro, I just be like, damn, bro. That's cool. No love lost. Oh, you know what I'm doing, bro? with me bro i don't hold no grudge i don't give a fuck about what everybody bro i don't care that's the thing with me bro Jay, bro what are you talking about man bro i'm out man i think it's tripping and that's the thing with me i don't care about what people care about that's why i'm different bro that's why people gravitate towards me. That's why, I, like, when I go in certain places, I light up the room, bro. I'm just me. I'm unapologetically me, bro. And I, I just love that for myself, bro. I love that I'm just being me and I'm I'm just growing and understanding and, and grasping life at a different level. And, we do not and care. Leveling up and staying structured and staying focused and staying disciplined. And it's all by the grace of God, bro. It's all by the grace of the Heavenly Father up above, bro. And I love God, bro. That's the thing with me, bro. That's why I don't I don't love man. I don't love man, bro. Man will do you bad. Man, a nigga do man, a nigga do it, man, bro. Nigga do you bad out here, bro. For nothing. Man, a nigga do you grease out this bitch for nothing, bro. For 20 me's last dollars, bro. That shit sick, bro. That shit, that shit mind bottling, bro. The 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 ghettos of America spend 
over one trillion fucking dollars in America, man. And we don't do shit with it, bro. We don't do shit with our money, bro. We spend that shit on materialistic shit, bro. Shit that mean nothing in the next five years. Shit that mean nothing in the next two years. Shit that mean nothing in the next year and a half. That shit be lame as fuck, bro. That shit be green. And it's crazy because I just got to understand and come to the realization that people going to be who they are. And I just trust people to be who the fuck they are. And I'm going to leave you at where the fuck you at. Fuck out of here. What the fuck I look like? If I knew better, I'm doing better, bro. That's one thing about me, bro. Once you, if you knew better, you do better. Real shit, bro. Once you know better, you got to do better, bro. If not, bro, you're a dumbass. Keep it 100 with you. And I'm gone. Strap on you. What up, Sean? Alright, I'm a fuck with you. Alright, bro. Uh, I want to reach one million. I'm going in there. Five, four, three, two, one. All I need my family, my money, and my gun. Like a threesome, I want to instead of one. Cause you've been acting different lately.